Thank you very much, Minister. I'd like now to introduce uh, Mr. Eric Keck from the WCO to make his opening remarks. Thank you very much, uh, Maxine, uh, Minister Davies, colleagues and friends. Uh, greetings from the World Customs Organization and Brussels. It's very good to, to be back home uh, as well and to, of course, see so many friends and uh, familiar faces uh, in the audience this morning. The World Customs Organization is very pleased to be associated with this conference um, and uh, to, to, to co-organize and sponsor the event with, uh, with the USAID and, of course, the, the, the trade-up. We live in uncertain times. I think the global financial crisis that Minister Davies alluded to, and, of course, the ongoing sovereign debt crisis, especially as it's playing out in Europe, certainly underscore the uncertain times that we are all living in globally. I think if you look back at specifically the global financial crisis, there, there are two lessons from the global financial crisis that are still with us today and that I think is really relevant to, to also look at within the context of this conference. The first is how closely interconnected our economies are around the world and certainly in southern Africa as well. The cross-border flows of goods, people and money and the rise of international trade supply chains connect us and bind us very close together. The second lesson, I think, from the global financial crisis, in addition to understanding how interconnected our economies are, would be the important role of the state and the important role of state institutions. We need our states to develop good ideas and policies. But the test of all of this is our ability to implement them. We need execution, we need results. We require professional service delivery on the parts of our states and most definitely those parts of our states at the border involved with international trade, international trade administration and trade facilitation. The minister in his remarks spoke about a very ambitious agenda in southern Africa and across the continent to increase market access, to open up our markets to goods originating in each other's territory. And I think, yes, to do all of this, we need negotiations that come up with an ambitious package, with new rules. But our capability to administer and implement those rules, looking at the trade facilitation agenda as well, is just as important. This is, of course, also true for customs. Customs administrations, as you all know, is a central part of globalization and a catalyst for the competitiveness of countries. All of us in this room recognize the link between trade, the cost of doing business, and customs administrations. But in addition to this trade and economic mission that we as customs administrations have, we also have to bear in mind that we are tasked by our states to fight organized crime and smuggling. Global supply chains that are used to convey people, goods, conveyances around the world are of course also used to convey drugs, guns and counterfeits. The mission of the World Customs Organization is to support 178 members around the world to be responsive to both the changes and the challenges of the 21st century. The World Customs Organization is the global center of excellence for customs matters. Our members collectively administer 98% of world trade. As the WCO, we have two aims, and we'll go into this in a little bit more detail later today. The first is we develop the international instruments in the form of customs, conventions, standards, models, and best practices around trade facilitation, but also around the other missions that we have as customs. Our second mission is to support all our member states with implementation through capacity building. On trade facilitation, which of course is the focus of this conference, we have developed, we maintain and we support implementation of a wide variety of conventions and best practices. And we hope to have the opportunity to actually discuss with you over the next two days your experience as well with the implementation 
of some of these instruments as well. Minister Davies also spoke about the need to bring down transaction costs. I think this is something that we are all aware of. And this is why the modern procedures and practices that we develop as the World Customs Organization is so important around the world as well. Especially if you look at the context of Africa where our transaction costs across borders are still unacceptably high. They inhibit trade by our partners in the private sector. This year, of course, is a very important year for the World Customs Organization. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary. The theme that we have for this year is connectivity. And I think the theme of connectivity of the World Customs Organization for this year is also one that's very relevant and has bearing on this conference as well. And within the context of connectivity, I think there are three drivers. Customs to customs connectivity. And Minister Davies spoke about the, the SACU program that is underway that the World Customs Organization is supporting, where one of the key initiatives there is actually to electronically connect the five customs administrations of the SACU uh, area. But of course, the ambition is then to take this and to roll this out across southern Africa and to other parts of the continent as well. The second big driver is customs and other government agencies. One of the things that I think we've come to realize as well when we look at the trade facilitation agenda is that customs is at the border responsible for clearing the goods crossing our borders, but it certainly is not the only player in the international supply chain. And the concept of coordinated border management has taken root in the World Customs Organization and has become a big focus for the WCO but also for our member governments as well. And the idea there is how do we actually bring together all government agencies with a responsibility for international trade, especially on a regulatory side, work together as government agencies, break down some of those silos that we find within countries sometimes and between countries as well to make it easier, to make the rules better understood, and again, to bring down those transaction costs that sometimes inhibit the movement of goods across our borders. The third driver, just as important as the other two, would be customs to business connectivity and customs business partnerships. And again, from the WCO perspective, we are supporting a number of administrations across the continent with building customs business partnerships. Again, I think the recognition here is that customs is responsible for international trade administration, but we're not responsible for international trade. It's the business communities in our countries that are the drivers of economic activity, that are the drivers of international trade. And it's our responsibility as governments and as customs administrations to listen, to understand, to understand what the challenges are that are faced by the business community to build the necessary partnerships where we can listen to each other and together come up with solutions as well. Because at the end of the day, we would like to have the same thing, and that is growth in our economies and compliance. Legitimate business wants compliance just as much of customs administrations, because this is what keeps the playing field level as well. So customs to customs connectivity, Customs and other government agencies at the border, coordinated border management, and customs and business partnerships should be three drivers that sit right at the center of any discussion around trade facilitation, such as the one that we will be having at this conference over the next uh, two days. Ladies and gentlemen, with those uh, brief opening remarks, uh, thank you very much again for inviting us. We are very proud to be associated with this event. And we certainly hope that our discussions over the next two days will enable all of us to, to listen to each other, to learn from each other, and to share some experiences. Because I think this is so important to come up with better solutions on making what the World Bank sometimes call thick borders in Africa a lot thinner, so that this can be of benefit to all our economies as well as our societies. Thank you so much for your attention.